Hello, good day. Well, we have a list of address here, and the address has the Malaysia zip code. So 703 and so on, right? So there's a list. So how can I extract this 700? One of the ways that I can put a zip here, and then uh, what I do is I, I copy it, I do it manually. Oh, it doesn't even work that way. Hmm, stop again. Okay. So, that could be a way. Right, it's just that it takes some time. But this is still manageable, right, because it's only uh, 78 rows. Right? What if I'm talking about 1,000 rows? Right, then you might want to consider learning. Or just copy this zip code uh, for this red X. So why do we learn act right X when there's a uh, tons of data that you want to analyze, extract from? So take an example, a simple example here, right? We take the first one and put it here, right? Right in this first one. And uh, what we do is that um, we have a pattern, right? This is similar to what you learned in the earlier episode, right? But we have a operations or slash D. Which tells you that the f we want to know, uh, want to get the patterns that, um, if there's a pattern that there are five consecutive numbers, so because the five consecutive numbers in the address represents the zip code, so we use this and we can find out that it actually uh, does match, right? If you have um, additional numbers here. Then um, it still match. Now that would not be right. So you need to use a bracket to do to close it right. So that um, it's only five, not all. So run this code. It's match. Ting. Hmm. So uh, five characters are not there. Hmm. We'll figure out this in the next video then. Now this is one way, right? We can also use another method. Let's right? use the dot execute and the dot count. And the dot execute and dot count, right? We have the slash D same right except that we are use dot execute and we use the dot items to extract the first partners right so there is a one then the result is seven zero three zero zero now what if I have two pair of five digit number so then you get um, the difference is that you have you have now two count because this is the first count, this is the second count, right? And you want the zero items, right? The the index is zero. If you want the second item, you can go ahead and do uh, other things as well, right? You can also do a, a for loop. But here we just do a zip code. Okay, so um, in my next video, we're going to find out why is that if I have a six digit, right? And it still give me two count. Right, what if I only want exactly five numbers, right? This will not be counted. How do we solve that? We'll show you that in the next video. Thank you very much. So um, I hope you learn how to extract the zip code. Thanks.